I'm so different, ay, yeah. I be styling, styling. All this money, yeah, that I'm piling. When they see me, ay, they be wildin'. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Pink Dog K, and I'm here with high school advice for freshmen, sophomore, junior, and seniors. So, if you're an incoming freshman, rule number one, I would most definitely say do not try to do so much. We would tend to just run down the hallway and jump on people's back or like just be extra for no reason, be loud, all that. Don't be that person. I get it, you're a freshman, you're excited, you are like seeking attention, but don't, don't do that because other people look at you like, okay, you're doing too much, simple. But then if that's your nature, do you. Don't overmatch, like don't wear a shirt with flowers on it as a top and then a bottoms with flowers on it at the bottom and then a hat with flowers on it and then a purse with flowers on it. Like that's too much. That's enough. Your education comes first. Try not to not study. If you have a test, study for it. But at the end of the day, even if you study, sometimes people still tend to fail. So just do your best. You email your teacher and like show that you care. You wanna um, get your grades up. They'll let you, unless you got like a really horrible teacher but majority of the time they will let you. I don't even know how this year's gonna go so I don't know if they're gonna finna let y'all go to school at this point. Your goal in high school is to get your diploma and go to the next step and learn what you need to know to go to the next step. That's your goal in high school and mainly to graduate. So your education does come first. Be involved. I will definitely say be involved because you don't want to be in your senior year or graduate high school in general saying, dang, I wish I would have been in that. I wish I would have been in that. I wish I would have been that. Just go for anything that finds your interest. Even if, if you want to start a club that they do not have, start one yourself. Try to find the right people to help you and guide you to start a step team or start a art team or all this extra stuff. Just start whatever you want to do. In middle school, they will make you, if you're in middle school, your teachers probably be like, it's different in high school. High school is going to be way harder and you can't do it in middle school. High school, no, it's not, boo. Middle school and high school is not the same thing, but it's definitely not that big of a difference. It's like the only difference between middle school and high school is the people. You have older kids you go to school with, that's it. But other than that, I did not find a difference in going to high school. Also as a freshman, boys are going to talk to you girls are older girls um, older girls are going to talk to you if you're incoming as a boy older boys are going to talk to you if you're coming as, as a girl so they're going to try to talk to you because they see something new that's kind of like when in middle school where they'd be like oh it's a new girl then they're going to try to talk to the new girl because they see something new they see something fresh and that's how it goes so don't just easily fall into the traps. Don't just easily think, oh my gosh, this boy likes me, we're gonna be in love, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, there are some seniors that talk to some freshmen that really do like them and really do care for them. And then the freshmen end up breaking their heart as a senior, so it just be like that. But you can't, I don't know, you can't just wrap your head around, oh, he's older, he's mature, he has a car, ooh, he's the, no, sweetie. Let me bust your bubble, it's not gonna happen, period. It just depends on who you're messing with. If you hear about him around the school, no, not the one for you. Anywho, now if you're incoming as a sophomore, a sophomore, stay away from drama. I feel like as a ten, well, as a freshman, drama comes, but as a sophomore, drama also comes. Like, because people are starting to know you now. People are starting to get you. Stay away from the. If you notice that the people you're hanging around talks bad about somebody else or got a mouth or always in something, you need to separate yourself from that person. But I just can't be around people who just talk about other people cause I know secretly you're talking about me. So why would I hang around somebody like that? Especially if I'm not the one talking. So that's just how I came across things. So I would just be like, you know what? Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, if your friends have a problem with your boyfriend or vice versa, it's not gonna happen. You will lose friends in high school. So don't be like me and don't, I'm not gonna say don't get a boyfriend because I mean at the end of the day your feelings are your feelings but at the end of the day it's still like be careful I don't really recommend high school relationships like that that's just my opinion and if you got a problem with it <laughs> click the next video now juniors 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 juniors
As a junior, I feel like you should definitely get involved. You should try to focus on your SAT scores and ACT scores. Focus as a junior, focus on getting to college because when you're a senior and you're trying to focus on getting to college, you just want to be able to chill your senior year kind of. So as a junior, I feel like you should try to focus on getting everything you need done for college and all that extra stuff. Apply to colleges as a junior just so you don't have to be behind the eight ball to see in, a, in your senior year because that will happen and that tends to happen so basically yeah i feel like your junior year should focus on college so that when you get a senior get to senior year you don't have to really stress and rush about it because me i was rushing i was stressing all that and that's not how you want to be that's not where you want to be and in high school don't stress period because it's not going to be as like people make it extremely harder than it should be like i get it ap classes are stressful honors classes can be stressful but it's like i stressed and i was just like what god's got it just pray about it get it done simple as a senior i feel like that's more of a chill year Your senior year is based off of how you did freshman year sophomore year and junior year because if you did horrible and you failed a lot of classes your first three years then you're gonna have all seven so classes. do your best as your first three years if you are a freshman do your best and try to get your grades up as a sophomore and junior so just really just try to do whatever you can to get your grades right because at the end of the day you need those requirements and you need to graduate high school and you need that diploma because at the end of the day people are going to get sidetracked high school advice overall a lot of people get to high school and feel like, oh, I need to look like this. I need to look like that. I need to gain weight. I need to lose weight. Like, honestly, if you have a personal goal, that is totally fine with that. But at the end of the day, it's like, look, you have to learn how to love yourself for real. Each and every person in this world, I feel like has that one thing that they do not like about them. Because me, I have a lot of insecurities, a lot of insecurities and people will still say stuff about you people have good things to say about you people have bad things to say about you a million people can say positive things but two people can say negative things and those two people that say negative things it matters because you just want to be a hundred percent liked in high school when you don't have to reach out to someone or you don't have to try to get attention from people just to be like no that's not the case just be you do you don't worry about what anybody else thinks you got you and you got you forever until the day you die and that's it so it's not like oh if they don't like me then i guess i just won't come to school the heck please you're there for you and you always be there for you if somebody like if somebody dislikes you or somebody put shame on your name it's gonna hurt but at the end of the day you gotta do what you gotta do to keep on moving because things are gonna happen things are gonna get hard so you can't just be like well my life is over now because that's how i felt but i graduated got my diploma and when we started doing this online stuff i thought i was not gonna be able to finish because i did give up but at the end of the day i stopped stressing i said i'm gonna get it done and i did so that's that download photo math being real with you download math way anyways download those apps because it really helped I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. But yeah, thanks for watching this video.